the Lord this day. Welcome to the Drive-In Christian Church. It's good to be with you today in worship and to share this beautiful day that the Lord has made. So let us join together in songs of praise, in hearts full of gratitude for our God as we worship Him today. And recognize Him in our very presence as we look around and behold creation. Scripture reading this morning is from the beautiful book of Psalms, Psalms 24. The earth is the Lord and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it, for he has founded it, and who will stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and pure hearts. the carpet. There's even, I think I've seen it, a Roomba for the lawn. We need a Roomba for the drive-in church, don't we? We have smart technologies, don't we? And all of us are saying, amen, I'm going to get me one of those Roombas to clean my house. I'm not sure that a Roomba or even a rosy robot is going to help us to clean up our act when it comes to our spiritual lives. The psalmist asks this question. He says, who shall stand in the Lord's holy place? And the answer swiftly comes. Those who have clean hands and pure hearts. And I don't think that David is just talking about those who have put a squirt of antibacterial gel on their hands and rubbed them together. I'm not sure that he's talking just about those who have gotten a clean bill of health from their cardiologist recently. It's a spiritual hand washing, if you will, that goes hand in hand with purifying our hearts. Purity of heart is to will just one thing to achieve communion however fleeting it might be with the divine that chime of an incoming email that tyranny of a to-do list blaring its urgency the obsessive desire to check back on Facebook to see how many likes we've garnered they are all enemies of spiritual centeredness 
and the ability to see God doesn't seem to have the least bit to do with any rosy robot that we have hanging around to keep our house clean, any Roomba vacuum cleaner or apps on our smartphones to connect us with our smart homes. Today is the day that we come clean. Today is the day that we clean up our act and admit the obvious. So as we remove this outer lid and hold this breath, may we join in prayer together. Merciful God, we thank you for these gifts of your creation, this bread and the fruit of this cup. We pray that we who gather at this table in the Let us all go forth with clean hands, with pure hearts. And the people of God said, Amen. Thank you.